There we go. Um, so my name is Jenna. Um, I've worked with some of you more than others, but I'm your point of contact here at, at WSU for the Shocker Pathway. Um, this session is one of our Office of Admissions Information Sessions. That's a super long title. Um, and Chad is going to present um, just a couple of housekeeping things. You guys are doing awesome. Your video and microphones are off. Please go ahead and keep them that way until we get to the question and answer section at the end of the presentation. Um, if you feel more comfortable popping a question into the chat, feel free to do that at any time, um, but then we'll open it up if you want to unmute or turn on your video later um, after Chad goes through the presentation. We'll welcome you guys to do that as well to ask any questions that you might have. Um, at the end of the session, I will also share the survey link with you. Um, just as a reminder, if you attend three unique sessions um, and fill out that survey for each session, you will automatically get some Shocker Pathway gear, but that will also enter you to win um, a $500 scholarship from Wichita State. Um, so that will be shared at, towards the end of the session. Um, I usually like to share that about the time we start asking questions, just so you have time to do that. It's super short, but that's how I'm tracking attendance. So please hang around until the end and fill that out um, when that's shared. And then I will um, hand it over to Chad. All right. Thanks, Jenna. I'm going to share my screen here real quick, guys. Just give me just a sec. I'll get that up and run in. All right, so I'll make sure that you guys can all see this. You just give me a thumbs up in the chat or just shout out. Yeah, I can see it. All right, awesome, awesome. All right, so real quick, um, thanks to Jenna for inviting me to be a part of this. So I'm very excited to work with, with you all from WSU Tech and the Shocker Pathway Program. Um, my name is Chad Steinkamp. I am the Assistant Director of Admissions here, um, and I'm part of the transfer team. So I work directly with transfer military and adult students, and that's partially my, well, that's basically all my role here at Wichita State. So I'm very excited to be here, talk to you guys about the admissions process. Um, I think some of you ladies here are, um, maybe have been admitted already, so some of this you may have already heard or been through the process, but hopefully this will open up a chance for some questions, anything that you all have for me while we're here today. So again, thanks for popping in. Glad you guys are here. Um, please make sure you let us know of any questions, concerns that you might have, and we'd definitely love to, to talk to you about it. And just keep in mind that this presentation is really about you and you all getting all the information that you can um, about Wichita State and making that transfer from WSU Tech to us really as seamless as possible, you know, and definitely use us, you myself. I know Jen is very super helpful, so definitely have us help you with this process to make it easy on you. So with that said, we'll kind of go to this first slide. Um, some of y'all may know some of this and some of you may not, um, but really we here at Wichita State are really about applied learning. So a lot like WSU Tech, we really want to make sure that you guys get a lot of that learning outside of the classroom. Um, we, you know, you got those classroom time, you got to spend time listening to those lectures, working in the, with those group projects and stuff, but applied learning here at WSU really um, incorporates working outside of the classroom and in those specific areas of careers that you want to finish in and where you want to go. Um, so just kind of heads up on the left hand side there of your screen, we have some fun little stats about what all our students do. But really what applied learning is, we really want to make sure that you get involved in those in those co-op programs, we want to get you involved in those internship opportunities. So really to get tied in, you, it, it's a great opportunity as you guys can see in the middle of the screen here, students gain a lot of benefits from applied learning. Um, basically, Pack your resume. I mean, it really looks good on your resume. If you're applying for jobs and you guys are looking for career changes, to see that you've done an internship or co-op at some sort of area outside of the classroom um, is really super helpful and really looks good on your on your resume. Um, of course, you get college credit for it. You make huge connections. I mean, that's a big thing. That's I think that's one of the biggest underrated things that you get when you do these internships is the connections you make. You may not be able to get that job within that maybe that company that you're doing an internship but you may 
make a connection with someone that can help you get another position at another company. So you're going to make these awesome professional connections with these folks by doing these internships and these co-ops. Um, a lot of times now is the paycheck um, is huge. Um, back in my day, uh, when I was doing internships, it was strictly volunteer programs. Most of the time, I didn't get any pay. Yeah, I built my resume and stuff. But you know, you want to make a little money on the side as well. Um, so it's kind of like a nice little job um, on the outside looking in. So you're kind of making that money. You're making those connections. You're getting that credit. Um, and in some cases, you might be offered a job. Um, I know a good example here I like to use is Kristen Boxman. She's in the upper right-hand corner in the Eyewitness News 12 picture there. Um, she actually worked in our admissions office for a while, but her junior and senior year, she did an internship with KWCH Channel 12 here in Wichita. Um, and she was actually, before her senior year ended, was offered a job. They said, get your degree, graduate, come back and work for us. So she got a full-time gig as a reporter um, and just has done an outstanding job. So those are kind of the connections that you can make. And the big thing too with applied learning for you all it's not only are we looking to that, of course, there's Wichita areas and Wichita companies and Wichita folks that you can really get dialed in with to work for, but we also look, work nationally as well. So like NASA and the Minnesota Vikings. And so there's definitely a lot of opportunities in different areas, not only within the Wichita and the state of Kansas, but also outside of Kansas that we can help you out with. So we have our Shocker Career Accelerator. They're formerly the Career Development Center um, that can help you with this process. So when you guys as transfer students come over, you can take advantage of their services pretty quickly. Um, just say, hey, this is my major. I want to get in sort of some sort of internship. They have advisors over there that work with the different companies and they can help you get lined up with those internships and co-op opportunities. So make sure you definitely take advantage of them and work with them to uh, get those connections made. Um, all right, so we're gonna move on to the next one. So the Innovation Campus, so I don't know if you all have ever had a chance to come out to campus before and come for a campus visit or check out the Innovation Campus or just kind of walk around. Um, it's really something to see. Um, this used to be a, a golf course here. When I started here a little over eight years ago, it was a golf course. I had a, I mean, I have an office here with a window and my window overlooked one of the holes. I was like, this is the greatest thing ever. Uh, but then, you know, like three weeks later, they totally demolished that hole and had a big old pile of dirt. But still, it moved on to be one of the greatest things ever. Uh, with our innovation campus. So a lot of cool opportunities on the campus and that we are working on bringing on, on the innovation campus. So we had the John Bardo Center, which is in the upper right hand corner. It's really designed a lot more for the engineering students, a lot of engineering classrooms, labs, things like that. Airbus is a good example of our innovation campus. So for example, Airbus, airplane manufacturing company here in Wichita, they were stationed in downtown Wichita closed their shop in downtown Wichita, moved everything over to the innovation campus. So they have a nice brand new spanking building. Um, they're on campus. So it's really convenient for our students that serve internships just to walk across campus to serve and to help and to work for Airbus. So it's good for our students because they work from those, learn from those professionals that are already with Airbus. But in turn, it's also good for those Airbus employees to learn from some of our students because our students, they come in, they're motivated, they're excited, they have these great ideas. So it's really good for the Airbus employees to get that benefit of working with our students as well. So they're just one example. We have a few other companies that are coming here on campus. NetApp is another one. Um, so it's really cool kind of what we're doing with this innovation campus. Uh, we also have the Law Enforcement Training Center, which is a collaboration between the Wichita State Police Department the Wichita City Police Department and the Cedric County Sheriff's Office are working together to train their cadets, but we also offer a lot of our criminal justice programs at the Law Enforcement Training Center, so which is really cool because they're kind of like right there in the police station on campus, so it's really fun for them. Um, then we also have Braveburn Square, which is just a shopping area. We got a couple of restaurants there right now. We have a tap room that's coming in here soon. I know for those of us that are over 21 are kind of excited about that tap room coming here soon. Um, but then we also have the flats and the suites, which is newer housing for our students. The flats is for transfer students and upperclassmen. So if you decide, it's an option for you as transfer students, if you decide you want to live on campus, the flats would be a good place for you to look into. Um, they are full, full apartments, so full kitchen, washer dryer, anything that you would get off campus, um, but with the convenience of being on campus. Um, and then also we have the YMCA here on campus, which is relatively new. All of our students here at WSU 
do get free YMCA memberships. So the YMCA membership is not only good for the one here on campus, but it's good for all the YMCA's within the Wichita area. So as a student here, you get that free membership, which is a nice little perk. Um, and then that plus more, I do want to point out in the bottom right hand corner is our food truck plaza. So pre-pandemic and hopefully post-pandemic, we'll start getting those food trucks back, but we do have a food truck plaza there where we have two to three food trucks that come weekly um, on campus for our students and our staff to take advantage of. And I'm a food guy and it's fantastic because you never know what's coming in and they've all been good and very delightful. So uh, make sure you guys check out the food trucks too while you're here. Um, just some other things real quick I want to point out about the Innovation Campus where it says soon to come. We did just finish the Hyatt Place Hotel that is done and completed, uh, which is a really, really cool hotel on campus. Um, and they were currently working on the new business building and also a new student community center. So lots of stuff happening here on campus. All right, for y'all, just kind of heads up, there are ways for you to get involved here at WSU. So we want to make sure you want to take advantage of that. Um, part of the college experience is really getting dialed in and really getting involved with on-campus programs, activities, groups, clubs, organizations, all that stuff um, is really good for you to kind of get involved. And if you have the time and you have, you know, the motivation and you want to get involved, I would highly recommend it. As you can see in the left-hand side, we have tons of student organizations, tons of on-campus events, lots of Greek life. So if you want to look into fraternities or sororities, we do have Greek life avail available, intramural sports, a lot of cool shocker athletics that you can attend. Um, as a student, you can attend all shocker athletics for free. So basketball games, softball, baseball, volleyball, all those are free for our students, as well as fine arts events. So any concerts, plays, musicals, you all can get in for free, which is really a nice little perk for our students and, and hope you take advantage of stuff like that. Uh, one of my favorite things on here is the hump day camel rides. Um, Pre-pandemic, we did have camels we did bring on Wednesdays occasionally where you can ride a camel around campus. So not many community or not many colleges can suggest that they have that offering. Uh, but it's kind of a little fun, little stress-free, um, you know, perk for our students to ride a, ride a camel around Wichita State. So, and then I mentioned the food truck plaza, and then we also have a new esports team here as well. So if you're into gaming, we do have that opportunity for you. But if you just kind of look around at these pictures, y'all, this is what Wichita State was a little over a year ago. Uh, we are slowly, gradually wanting to get back to this and hopefully sooner or later we will be. We're gonna start introducing more programs, more activities, more ways to get involved on campus. So kind of keep your eyes and ears open and hopefully we would love for you guys to get involved in any of these programs um, that you can and, and get dialed in with the, with the campus as much as possible. Um, again, like Jenna said, if you do have questions, comments, concerns, anything, please make sure you throw them in that chat room. Um, and then we'll have a time here towards the end to answer those questions as well. Um, so another thing that we're looking to bring back here sooner than later is definitely study abroad in National Student Exchange. So as transfer students, this is something you all can jump in pretty quickly once we get it back going and get it running again. Um, study abroad, you could do a semester or a year. You definitely complete an internship and take some classes overseas. Um, definitely, it's a great way to make yourself more marketable. Um, I've met it, quite a few students that have done study abroad and not one has regretted it. Um, it's just a way for them to learn outside of their comfort zone and to get in those environments and that atmosphere that's really just kind of new to you. And so it's just, a, it's, it would just, it's just fun to experience. So they've had a great time. It's something they could put on their resume that, hey, they have studied over France for a while. Um, but a really good way to kind of get out of that, you know, think outside the box, get outside that comfort zone and just to really learn new things. You know, but if you're the type that you're like, you know what, I'm not getting on a plane for nine hours, it's not happening. We do have the National Student Exchange, which is very similar to study abroad, where we will send you somewhere within the United States, okay, to study for a semester for a year. You pay your same tuition as if you were attending Wichita State um, and the scholarships that you have here travel with you and then all the credit hours you take there, travel back. So all you have to do is let us know what kind of school, if we have a partnership school within that state that you want to go to, um, you can go, you can just kind of get out of the state and you can go visit them for a semester for a year and hang out and go to school there. Uh, what's cool with not only within the continental US, but we also have with uh, Alaska, um, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, all have opportunities for you to go to school there as well. 
Um, obviously, Hawaii and Puerto Rico tend to be our most popular choices for students that want to do the National Student Exchange, um, but still a fun opportunity for them to uh, uh, go visit those places and get that experience as well. Um, so keep that in mind when you guys are making that transfer here too, if that's something that you want to get involved in. Uh, one thing I do want to point out to you guys, if you haven't used this already, this would be huge to kind of take a look at and see if this is something that you want to want to do and kind of get into. So this is the transfer gateway. Um, I definitely want you to kind of check this out if you can. So it's the, the URL, the web address is down there on the bottom. So if on the left hand side. Basically what this is, is this is a cool little portal. It's a tool for our transfer students to use where they can put in their credit hours they've taken at WSU Tech or any other colleges you've taken in the past and how those classes are gonna to transfer to us toward your specific major. So if you take kind of look at the screenshot right here, so this student right here took these classes at Hutchinson Community College, they've put them in the system and then over on the right hand side, you can pick up the three different majors, but they just have the one here. It shows how those credit hours apply in specifically into that program. Um, so if you're kind of debating that, you know, I don't really know for sure what I want to do for a major. What should I pick? You can, like I said, do you put up three different majors? You can kind of put all your credit hours in here. And if you have one that is going to get you done sooner with us than the others, you know, that might be the way to go. Um, I actually had a student that I worked with not too long ago that was in that kind of situation. And she was like, you know what? I can't decide between these three different majors. It's like, hey, I got the perfect idea. Let's go into the transfer gateway. So her and I actually went in together. Uh, we posted all of her hours that she had taken at, at Butler. She's a Butler transfer student. Um, and one of the majors stood out more to her because it was going to get her done a little bit quicker than the other two. So she's like, all right, it's decided. This is what I'm doing for my major. This is the program where to go because one, it's going to be a great program. I'm interested in it. And two, it's going to get me, get me my degree a little bit sooner than the other two. Um, so it's kind of a fun way to kind of check out and see where your standing is with us as far as those transfer hours go. But we have some also fun little perks with this transfer gateway. You could go and there's, there's a checklist that you can click on kind of see what you need to do next. Um, you can also click on like that computer engineering. It'll tell you all about the major. Um, also tell you what that major pays and kind of what the demand, national demand is for that specific major too. So really a lot of cool things, a lot of fun resources to look on in this transfer gateway. So definitely go in when you guys get a chance, check it out, go to wichita.edu slash transfer gateway. Um, and that will pull it up and you just go on in. I would suggest if you want to go ahead and create a profile. One, if you create a profile, it saves all your work. I mean, that's the big important thing. So you can put in all your hours there that you have um, and you can always go back and add more, but it saves your work. So if you go in and not create a profile, then when you come back, it's gonna be gone. Um, there's, you gotta start all over. So definitely create a profile and then let us know how we can help. So if you have any questions, you can click on that contact or transfer counselor link. Um, and my friend, Justin Peterson, who's our transfer specialist, he kind of is the behind the scenes guy for this transfer gateway. Um, he would be happy to talk to you about any hours that you have or any questions that you have. Um, I know Jenna is also a great resource as far as the transferable hours. Um, but if you don't want to take the time to reach out to one of us or one of them, definitely get on this transfer gateway, put in your hours and kind of see where you stand with us. All right. All right, guys, again, feel free to jump on those questions that you may have in the chat room. Next steps. So like I mentioned before, I know, I think at least one of you I know, is admitted already. So I don't know about a couple others, but if you're not admitted yet, um, what you'll need to do is definitely apply to Wichita State. I know if you're in the Shocker Pathway program, you filled out an application at one time before. Um, so unfortunately, we need to have you do it a second time just to make sure that we get you in our system as a full-time student and as a transfer student. So you go to wichita.edu slash apply. Uh, we do have a $40 application fee unless you're in the Shocker Pathway program. If you, if you filled out that intent form and you're in the Shocker Pathway program, we will waive that $40 application fee. Unfortunately, if you're not in the program, we will need that $40 application fee. Um, how the kind of transfer hours work and what we need for you really depends on how many credit hours you take. So if you have 24 or more credit hours from WSU Tech or combined from WSU Tech and some other school, if you have 24 or more credit hours, all we need from you after you apply is your official transcripts. Okay, so we need it from WSU Tech, we we'll also need it from any other college you may have attended. So 
basically we need your application for admission and then your official transcripts from all the schools you've attended. Okay, if you're under 24 credit hours, okay, if you have 23 or less credit hours when you're making that transfer to us, which I, I, I'm not thinking any of you would, but if you do, we would need your high school stuff as well. So we would need your high school transcript. So keep that in mind. Um, then once we get all that stuff, as long as you have a 2.0 cumulative transfer GPA coming in, you will be admitted to Wichita State. And then your next step after that is to apply for housing. Um, if you're interested in living on campus, complete an orientation RSVP. All students are required to go through orientation. So you'll RSVP for an orientation. And then you'll contact your academic advisor. If you're Shocker Pathways, you will go through Jenna. So she will be your, your advisor to kind of get you started and get you going with those. Um, if you're not Shocker Pathway, then we would get you signed up with an uh, advisor based off your major. So that leads me to my next slide here. These are the contact information for your advisor if you are not in the Shocker Pathway program, okay? If you're not in the Shocker Pathway program, you will email one of these folks here based off your major, um, and they'll be able to set up an appointment with you to get you enrolled and get you going. So feel free to take a screenshot of this if you want to. Again, otherwise, if you are Shocker Pathway, you will work with Jenna as far as getting your hours taken care of. Okay. I, I hope you guys are hanging in there so far. You know, I'm having a blast. So hope you guys are doing good. Um, moving on, we're going to talk just a little bit real brief, briefly about financial aid. Okay. So as far as the financial aid goes, um, please, please, please apply. Look into the opportunities. Don't let cost of college determine if you're going to go or not. Okay, just because there's tons of options out there for you for major or for scholarships, for financial aid, all that stuff that could be available for you. So with that said, uh, we do have a ton of scholarships and financial aid available. So as far as scholarships go, uh, we do have scholarships. So keep in mind that you definitely want to apply for these um, and look into these. So if you go to wichita.edu forward slash scholarships, that is a good opportunity for you to see what kind of scholarships we have and available for our transfer students. Um, typically, we do have transfer students. We have a transfer merit scholarship. But unfortunately, for this next year, that deadline has already passed. It's typically February 1st. Um, so that's where the merit scholarship comes in. Um, check with your major folks to see if there's any college, specific college or departmental scholarships. And then definitely look for outside scholarships. So if you go to, like I mentioned for wichita.edu slash scholarship or go to wichita.edu for slash financial aid, that's on the bottom of the screen there and check on scholarships, you can check out and see what is available outside of the university that you can still apply for. We do have a new partnership website. It's called Scholarship Universe. And it's just Scholarship U. And there's a link on there that you can click on and go to and check out what we have that's outside scholarships that you can bring in um, and that we would honor here at Wichita State. So make sure you're checking out those scholarships and doing your research on those. If you all have, do have questions, make sure you do let me know. And I'm happy to help you out with those however I can. Um, so the federal, the free application for federal student aid. OK, so it's, it's FAFSA.gov if you haven't done that yet. That will be where you'll fill out your federal, your free federal aid form. Okay, make sure you go to .gov and not .com. Okay, because .gov is the free one, .com is the paid one, and you don't want to do the paid one. Okay, so it, it says it's the priority date is December first. You still can fill it out now. You might not have results in all you need by the time school starts, but you can still fill it out now and hopefully get some results and get your aid in before classes start in August. All right, ways to pay for college. So as you can see with that percentage there, most of our students do get some sort of aid, have it be through loans, grants, scholarships, work study, cash savings plans. So there's definitely tons of opportunities. Here at the end, the last slide, we'll have the financial aid contact information so you can reach out to them directly if you do have questions. Uh, work study employment is basically kind of what it says is we will help you find a place to work on campus and financial aid pays you to work that position on campus. Of course, the scholarships, the grants, definitely free money. If you can qualify for a grant, that's a bonus. So definitely make sure that you apply and see if you can get those grants. And of course, loans, there's definitely the loan opportunities for you out there. Um, if that's something that you want to tackle as well. And a lot of that stuff, y'all, you're, you're going to find out once you've got that FAFSA form, it's going to be based off the information off of there. 
Um, so basically how much will it cost? So this is kind of a roundabout what you're looking at for costs to go to Wichita State. Um, you can cancel out, cancel out on campus housing because I'm guessing a lot of you might are going to be living off campus or already living, have a home, you know, whatever. Um, but to a typical tuition runs for you all, where, you know, you're going to look at a little $8,000 a year for tuition and fees. Okay. So really, you're going to look around that $8,000 mark um, for that. On campus housing, like I mentioned before, you can count out. Meal plan is an option for you while you're here on campus. You do not have to have a meal plan as a student on campus. We do have lots of places that you can eat on campus, which is fun, uh, but you don't have to have a meal plan to eat in those areas. Um, as far as the course and major fees, those are going to vary depending on your major and what they're looking at. So engineering, business, majors like that typically have some sort of other course and major fees, lab fees and stuff that you would definitely have to look into paying. Um, so total for you all without housing and the meal plan, you're really going to look, um, gosh, more about, I'd say around the eight to 10,000, 11,000 mark as far as the cost goes of what you're looking at. And keep in mind, that's going to be without financial aid, without scholarships, all that stuff. Um, indirect costs, you need to think about also books, you know, books, you're not going to see $1,200 y'all for books. So just kind of heads up with that. Books, there's just so many different ways to get books anymore. So, I mean, a lot, of, you can download them, you can borrow them, you can rent them, you can buy them. So definitely a lot of different ways to get your books. Um, Off-campus housing meal plan, we're just, our financial aid office just kind of randomly put this together and estimated what you're looking at for costs. So kind of indirect costs, which doesn't have anything to do with your tuition or your housing, you're going to look around around that $9,000 mark. But with you all as transfer students, you probably have a good grasp on what you're doing as far as your different costs go. Okay, so just kind of keep these costs in mind with indirect costs and direct costs. Um, you know, you're going to look anywhere from you know, 10 to 20,000 ish. So I know that's a wide gap, but it's really kind of depend on where you live and what class you take and how you get your books. So there's just a lot of variables that are going to take place um, in this, but just kind of keep in mind the big roundabout cost for tuition and fees is going to be a little over eight grand a year. Um, so for financial aid, definitely take a screenshot of this, you know, write these numbers down, write this email address down. Um, definitely let them know if you do have questions. Um, unfortunately, I don't have access to any of your financial aid information if you have already filled it out. So you definitely want to reach out to financial aid directly if you do have questions about your, what you're going to get, what you're going to qualify for, kind of what you need still to, to complete your FAFSA. But definitely feel free to reach out to them. Um, so with that said, I'm going to kind of slow things down and kind of stop talking for a little bit, give you guys a chance to ask any questions, concerns that you might have. Uh, we are really big here in the admissions office with our social media. So we would definitely love for you to follow us, like us, uh, whatever you need to get on social media. We stay, I, I've never seen a, a department and no credit to me whatsoever. So I have nothing to do with our, our, our social media, but Credit, I've never seen a department that is so on top of their finance or on top of their social media as much as the admissions office is. So make sure you guys, you know, follow us, like us, tweet us, um, just kind of follow us because we keep you up to date on what's going on and what's happening and just get a lot, a lot of fun things as well. Uh, we did get a new TikTok. Um, that's not on here. I need to get that added, but we did get a new TikTok. So I'm new to TikTok. I don't, I don't get it but I'm new to it. Just like this weekend, I just set up for the first time. It's pretty interesting. They'll get all TikTok. So, but anyway, um, here on the bottom two is my email address. So it's chad.steincamp at wichita.edu. So if any of you do have questions, concerns, or anything, please, please, please feel free to let me know. For those of you who work with Jenna, if you have any fun Jenna stories, I'm always up for some new Jenna stories. So definitely let me know what I can do and kind of listen in on that as well. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen and kick this back to Jenna uh, with any questions or anything that or anything that she wants to add or if there's anything else that that you guys want to talk about. Maybe. Sorry, my I shared my screen and took all my buttons away and I don't know where anything is. Uh, thank you, Chad, so much for sharing all of that great information. 
Um, guys, please feel free to pop any questions in the chat. If you are comfortable and would like to unmute yourself and ask, please feel free. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just two things real quick. You can see on the screen there, there is a um, QR code that will take you to the survey um, or I just posted the link in the chat box. Please fill out the survey before you leave. That again, will enter you to win that scholarship. But um, for students who attend, every student who attends three sessions gets that Shocker Pathway gear. Um, so please feel free to, please, Go ahead and fill it out. Um, it just takes a couple of seconds. Um, and the other thing I just want to uh, to throw out there is, Chad, I may have forgotten to mention this to you, um, but all transfers from WSU Tech should be meeting with me for their first semester here at Wichita State. Even if you have not declared that Shocker Pathway major there, um, that is something new. Uh, so sorry. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so please holler at me if you have questions. I will be your transition person. Um, I kind of fill the gap between admissions and your college advisor in every way that anyone could ever think of and new ways every day. Um, so please let us know what questions you have. Um, hope we welcome little ones. Um, so they're, they're so much fun. I don't have kids myself, but Chad has a couple kiddos. They are definitely not six weeks old anymore. Um, not six weeks old. One is 16 and she is really, really fussy. So, <laughs> so I feel you hope. I feel you hope. I have a fussy 16 year old. So I'm there with you. <laughs> I, I think she should earn some more points though, because she has the best name ever. Um, her name is Jenna too. So yeah, yeah. So my 16 year old is her name is Jenna. Um, I, I'm sure this Jenna here in our room today was not fussy at 16 like my Jenna is. Not at all. No. Huh. So, I hope that's awesome though. Congratulations on six week old. That's that's outstanding. I, I miss those days. I miss those days with little babies. So so um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop my screen share because I am having trouble with all of the screens. Yes, Jenna's for the win. Yes, always, always. Um, but guys, please, if you have any questions, um, please throw them in the chat. Um, Veronica or Brandy, if you have any questions or concerns or fun stories you wanna share, um, please feel free to do that. We'll hang out for a couple more minutes. Um, if you guys don't have questions and you've completed your survey, feel free to jump off the Zoom so we know that you don't have anything that you need to ask. Um, but we're here. Um, I put Chad's email in the chat, but in case you need me, um, there's two email addresses you can reach me at. It's shockerpathway at wichita.edu or Jenna Randall at wichita.edu. And those are both in the chat as well. Um, so thank you. We'll hang out until nobody else is left. Um, yeah. So I see, yeah, I'm in no hurry. So we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the, the recording so it can